What's up gents, Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for casual raiders. Today we're going to do a kind of like updated guide, not updated, Basilis Rotus. He's, he's good, like I just, I love this guy, he, he could do a lot for you for your account. A lot of people get him and kind of put him in the vault because a lot of people don't know what to do with him. I've been running him for a while now, uh, I geared him one time and haven't reared geared him since because he just works with the gear that I got. Uh, you can update him, you can put him in a relentless set, you can do a savage set, you can do um health set like whatever the hell you want to do you you could do but today's video we're going to go over like kind of how to get around skull crown shield which is kind of annoying in pvp uh this new guy definitely helps out with it with the shield which we're going to pair him up a little bit him and uh basilis but we're going to throw him into some pvp uh, i'll show you some videos on that and then i'll show you what he's very 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 good at which i don't know his rating is for but magic keep uh, I did a video of him running Magic Keep, and when he steals the shield, and just, there you go, 4.5, I don't know why he's not a 5, but when he steals the shield automatically from the Magic Keep, he's like, unkillable, it's really funny. So we'll show you that as well, but let's get into kind of what this guy does, if you don't know already. Um, it's one of my best videos I have, it's like one of my first videos I have, but He's got an A1, I booked him fully out because he was one of my first legendaries. Uh, attacks one enemy, has an 80, 90, 100% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. Has a 100% chance of placing a block buffs debuff for one turn if they have no active buffs. So you basically steal it and then place a block buff. Like it's it's so clutch, it's, it's hilarious. Um, and if he's faster than the enemy team, he can just put up a block buff uh, with his A1 and then they can't even put up any buffs. So this obviously you need accuracy to do, so you kind of have like a, a hybrid build with this guy, so that way you have some accuracy, a lot of crit, a lot of crit damage, like all around good build. Uh, his A2, also very good, attacks one enemy three times, ignores shield and block damage buffs, uh, ha as well as a 50% of the target's defense. Like that is everything combined into one skill, like he punctures, it's literally called puncture, such hard to kill champions it's it's hilarious uh that's why i'm thinking like a savage set to add to his already ignore 50 percent targets defense i wonder if we have okay we don't even have helm smasher on him i'm sure like if we redid him i might actually do an updated video on him with a savage set uh with helm smash i mean you probably don't need helm smasher because then he ignores like way over 100 percent but we'll try it out uh anyway but again it's a very very good spell uh good with um it's a three turn cooldown, which is really fast. It's good for Fire Knight, it's good for uh, PvP, it's good for Arena, it's good It's good a lot of places. But that's really cool. Uh, and then finally, his last thing, which is really what is his whole kit. Four turn cooldown attacks all enemies, has a 50% chance up to a 60-75% chance of placing a stun. So an AoE stun that is a 75% chance is enormous in the game. The only person I have that I have that can go above that is this guy right here who has a 100% chance to stun, which I think is the first one AOE stun on a leg, like somebody let me know if that's the only one, but like 100% chance stuns is crazy. I was using this guy for so long because he stuns a lot uh, and it, it, it's so clutch. So also, not only that, decreases the target's turn meter by 50% if the stun is not placed. So even if he doesn't place the stun, he still can decrease the turn meter. Again, you need the accuracy for this. So if you don't book him out, at least if you don't stun because it's only a 50% chance, you can still then re uh, reduce the turn meter by 50%, just reduces it. So it's a CC. It's a uh, if he's fast, he can like let your other you know team go faster. I'm sure he's great in Doom Tower if you have him tanky enough. Uh, but again, all around great, great champion. He's a copy of the Marksman, the other champion, but still a really cool kit. Um, and his masteries just kind of get it out to do some damage. And his art artifacts, you want crit damage or crit rate gloves. Just make sure you get as, as much crit rate as you can. We went with a broken set uh, for crit damage. We got 16 crit rate. You want some accuracy on the substats. 60% attack, if you're dying too much, go with HP or, or defense, probably HP. Uh, but HP, speed, attack, not the best chest piece, but again, I gave this guy a long time ago. Speed boots, you want them fast. Uh, attack, crit rate. Uh, this we, we just, this is the broken set. So if you have broken set, just get whatever stat you need. We needed crit rate, so we got 23 crit rate there. Uh, crit rate, crit damage, and speed, great, great uh, shield for him. I think we went with attack, 
crit damage obviously, and then accuracy for the banner. This could be higher if you had a six star banner, but you want speed, um, attack percentage. This is actually a bad banner. <laughs> uh, we could probably get a better banner than this. There's like no percentage subsets. Again, I booked this guy a long, or give this guy a long time ago, but he works. Don't change it if, if it works. Uh, total stats is what we're looking at. 257 accuracy, just pay attention to that. because I think some of the vids we have that it was resisted. So the only reason it's resisted is because of accuracy. So if the other person has more than 250 resistance, you're kind of battling for that. 100% crit and 267 crit damage, 4,600 uh, attack. So uh, let's get into the first video. All right, so this is throwing him right into the magic keep. I thought I'd do two runs of this because it's pretty funny. So don't mind the team, just pay attention to Ronus. Uh, he just crushes so this wave two i think he one shots everybody with his aoe now right here so aoe just finishes him off they all would have been stunned um now watch this do you see that let's rewind that it was too fast so right when we get to the boss look at the shield now there's two ads up but what he does is he targets the boss automatically so the ai is super smart on ronus watch the shield gone Stole the shield, look how big the shield is, and he put up a block buff on this boss. So even if the ads do uh, try and put a, a buff up, not anymore. Uh, and just look at the damage as well. But look at that shield, like that shield is ridiculous. Puncture, 75k right there. Awesome, so then I was like, screw it, let's run it again. Uh, I wonder what he does on wave two, because I think Trunda kills wave one. Yeah, she just she just hits way too hard. All right, he did the A2, 63,000 on both of them. Does the puncture, only only needed one shot there. And watch this, his AI steals the shield again. Holy crap, look at that shield. That's ginormous, huge shield. He's never gonna die. He could probably solo this. <laughs> uh, no, he probably can't solo it, but he, he can at, at least do a crap ton of damage to the boss. And we got a good good push in there. All right, so let's, let's get into the, some PvP matches here. All right, so every one of these videos, there are different videos, so they're all combined into one to make it easier for me and for you guys. But look at the scroll crown. So the, the, the hint with scroll crown is like, if you take her down to a certain amount, she then pops up the unkillable buff and then she just can't die. So most of our champions, we don't ignore it unless we have like a Rotos uh, or if we have a block buff up before that happens, which is kind of hard because most of them don't have a lot of HP. Uh, they're kind of kitted out just with as much attack and, and damage as possible. So just notice that when Basilisk goes here, he's just gonna do his A1, because I think we did this manually. He's gonna do his A1 and he's just gonna steal the, the, the shield or the unkillable buff, all right? right here a1 stole it dead he stole like <laughs> he's got the unkillable on himself right there so that was that was number one all right and then we got another one right after this uh, i just i'm in 3v3 and, and most of the 3v3 teams now are just like one teams so i was just trying to give an example of this is exactly what you could do to skull crown so if you got a skull crown and you're kind of just like how do i kill her basilis ronas can just one shot her uh, and, and, and nuke her down. So this is the third skull crown. Again, all similar teams. And then he comes in, does a one, boom, just just steals it. Even even though it's not already up, he he still steals it. Now this is a full team, but we got a skull crown on the other side. So let's see what we do here. We did. Uh, I know one of these we've lost because they resisted, and I wanted to show you that. So they go a one, killed the whole thing, done. They have no reser. So don't have to worry about the, the DPS Skull Crown, which against a Skull Crusher, she's gonna be counterattacking every single time. So that was that was clutch. Like we basically just one-shotted the high DPS champion that they had on the other team. Like that combo is amazing. All right, so let's see what we do here. We, we finished this off. He did the puncture, didn't need three hits. Uh, killed everybody. 32K on the A1, stole the block buffs. Uh, and then put up that. So he's great for Chris because he'll steal the uh, the shield as well as put up the block buff so he can't put up uh, the continuous heal and all that fun stuff. So here's another skull crown. Let's see what we do here. Now he's gonna do his A3 automatically, right? If he's in auto battle, he's gonna do his A3, which is gonna stun a lot of people. But if you just wanna nuke down one person and they don't have a, a reser, you can just do that with, uh, with Basilis. 
But I, I just think it's super funny that Skull Crown versus Basilisk, it, it's, it's no competition whatsoever. Puncture, already did his A3, killed everybody anyway. Here's another one, Skull Crown. They do have a res this time, but if we do that, she can't res right away. So you got <laughs> just dead. It's and and I think it procs still. So like, look, we stole the unkillable. So now he's unkillable, which is which is amazing. But uh, it still procs the Sinesha res. So she'll die, get resed up, and then if you hit her again, she's gonna stay dead because she already procced her unkillable uh, proc. So I think this is the last one. There's two here. Um, I forget what this. So we kill one easily. Now there's another one. Look, so she got resed up, but she's gonna die again. There you go. So she died again because we stole the unkillable before. So if you ever come across two of them, that that that's a strat that you can do there. So I thought I thought that was super funny. Let's stop that and let's get into some current PvP matches. I, I saw there's some uh, some teams that we could see right here with with the skull crown. And because that's the whole point of the video is, is Basilisk versus Skull Crown. I don't know why we're here. Uh, and then let's get into some matches. So he's a good and a go second team as well. Like we're gonna try the go second uh, team with Cardinal. If you have a Seeker with Cardinal, that combo, like she is almost unkillable. I, I've, I've survived Madame and Trunda Nukes uh, with that comp. So let's get into, where's our team? We got Cardinal right there. We got Seeker as the lead. We got Basilis Ronis. Let's do him and Basilis Ronis. So he's gonna stun them to try and stun her. Where's Basilis? Basilis, all right. So let, let's try this comp, let, let's see how it works. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're, he's I think faster. Yeah, so this is gonna be fun. So we're gonna res up, we're gonna kill Skull Crown, she's gonna be revived, and then we're gonna stun everybody back to death. If we go first. So we need to die. Let's see if we die. Oh, you know what, they don't have a, uh, I'm thinking of um, a blender comp, but this isn't a blender comp. So who do we wanna kill? So she's got provoked, she's probably got a lot of resist either, so everybody died. So now let's try and res if we can go. Hopefully our turn meter doesn't get right, there we go. So now we're gonna res back up. Uh, he's gonna put up increased attack. We are going to counter this guy. Uh, kill her. Right, stole the unkillable. Ah, oh, what happened? Oh, Sinesha, Sinesha did his uh, thing or we would have done the kill everybody uh, thing. So we could kill her, uh, she would die, but then she would just res her back up and then we steal again. So we, we can try that, we'll, 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 we'll kill her. And then she's gonna get res back up. He's unkillable, so he didn't die, that was cool. Uh, let's heal him back up, now we're gonna steal that unkillable. Oh, we didn't steal it, so her, she resisted that. I uh, probably should've done the AOE uh, stun, but that's kinda what you could've done. So if, if Sinesha didn't do the thing on, uh, hit him we would have killed that whole team but that was cool uh he killed her <laughs> so let's try that again let's take out uh we might even be able to go first if i put in a speed team i thought they would be faster but they're not so we put in arbiter and her let's see let's see if we're fast enough so we're gonna boost up debuff Kill the skull crown. So boost up, speed up. So kill the skull crown. 102,000. Oh my god. Denied. Uh, and then we'll put that on her. And then AoE. Boom. So he's good to go second team, but he's also good to go first team. Uh, I'm not really showing off his AoE ability because he, he hits hard. We're really just showing off how he can steal buffs from other people. So here's another team. This is a, should be a blender comp if her AI was smart. Um, and this guy I think is really good. So we'll try to go second team here. So we can do this and Cardinal. And let's see what this, I don't know what that guy does. I don't know if he strips buffs. If he does, we might be in trouble, but he looks cool. 
Ethel. Okay. Uh, that stinks that she doesn't do the A3 first. All right, so we're gonna... We kind of want to die, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just go after her. Provoked. Dead. Revive. Uh, steal. All that stuff. <laughs> so even though she had two buffs up on her, we still stole her unkillable and killed her, which is amazing. Uh, and let's see what we can do here. Stun, stun. Go faster. Res, uh, provoke. Nice. Heal. Anybody? Heal him. All right, stun. Nice, like 75% chance to, to stun, and she stun. He's he stuns a lot, <laughs> and then dead. That was cool. So even though you're not the fastest team, you can still hit really hard against the fast team right there. So then we got this, which they have unkillable buffs, but torment. That kind of sucks. Uh, this we can't res back up. Um, this one, no, no, and torment. No, this one. Let's see if we can steal like any of this stuff. Yeah, if, so Ray is tricky because she kind of sometimes kill Cardinal. Um, let's see if, let's see if Cardinal dies. Another fun go second. I'm gonna see what, what we can do against Chris if, if we can even do anything. Usually again, I'm only at 257 uh, accuracy, but maybe we can steal some stuff like counterattacks. And he didn't die. <laughs> so let's res him up. Who do we want to go after? Let's try and go after her. What did we steal? We stole the attack buff, which doesn't really do anything for us. So speed up. We already, we already lost that, so that didn't do anything. Too many buffs uh, wasn't the skull crown that we're trying to kill. So we did steal one though. So we stole one. Let's, let's see what he does for his AOE attack. Uh, we'll do our normal team, level 41 right there. So they, they should be able to die, we'll res up, debuff, and then nuke for all you guys and gals out there that just have a Basilisk and want to see what he does. Okay, cool. So, res up, debuff, oh, he's faster than her. Ah, oh, I put the wrong one in. <laughs> Uh, let's stun. Why not? We got two stuns off. He died again. Now she wants to take res and get everybody off. That sucks. All right, guys. One more, <laughs> if you're still with me. <laughs> one more, because he's 219 speed, so he's pretty quick for a DPSer. Uh, right here. Of course. Of course. For the vid. All right, so we'll take him out and we'll put our level 60 Madam in, who's very fast. <clears throat> he was my nuker for a long time. That's kind of why I made him pretty fast. And again, on auto, he does his A3. So can they kill the level 60? No, they cannot. Maybe Chris can. Nope, Chris can't. So do we just die here? Probably. He's, she's provoked. Just die, madam. <laughs> she's not dying. <laughs> All right, now she's dead. Let's see, what is she gonna do? All right, cool. Perfect, now we can increase attack. So we're going to strip all this stuff. Nice, besides her, because we didn't. We don't like her. We're gonna provoke, and then we're gonna see if we can nuke anybody down. So one speed, and go. 47k, 27k, that was a very, very bad hit. Okay, so not, and, and weak hit on obviously the weak affinity. So there you go, not the best chance right there. All right, so next. All right, so I kept this match going actually, and we're at, we have a second chance to res, because <laughs> Cardinal's a beast. Uh, but now we're probably gonna die anyway. <laughs> what can you steal? Uh, we can steal a shield or do puncture. We can puncture. So do we puncture with increased defense and all that fun stuff? Probably, right? So let's see what he does. Boom! 
nothing. 4.7 point, 4.7, 4.7. Uh, ignored 50% defense, but he's got a ton of HP. And we'll see if we can survive this, but I'm not sure. All right, so this one's unique. Uh, we got we got two skull crowns to test them out, but we're bringing in our boy Astralon to kind of stun some people. So counterattack, blender comp, everybody dies. Do we resin back up? Probably not yet, because we need Astralon to go. So let's heal Astralon. Now Astralon's dead. <laughs> Uh, can we do anything? There we go. So res up, increase attack, provoke. Basilis is gonna kill, or yeah, Ron is gonna kill this one. Oh, resist it. So if you have more resist than Basilis, it does not work. We're at 250 uh, accuracy and we were resisted. So let's try that team again. Cause that, that was a fun team. Uh, Ashalon doesn't really matter. Maybe they can kill me on the first wave now. We're gonna go after the left skull crown. <laughs> I wonder if they have resist. Of course, Basilis doesn't die, right? Maybe he'll be able to do something. Nope. That one seems like she hits harder too. So res up, increase attack, provoke. Go after that one. Nope. Too much resist. So that, that's how I would build my skill crown <laughs> in, in PvP is definitely with resistance. Um, 100%. Dead and dead. Cool. All right, guys. So that is, I mean, we're already 20 minutes in, but uh, that's what you can do against a skull crown. Uh, if you guys got them and you're newer, uh, going to help out a lot. Dungeons, I still use them in a bunch of dungeons. Um, obviously, you saw we can use them in the keeps pretty easily. PvP, super fun. Doom Tower, if you're on normal Doom Tower, he can kind of like one shot all the waves. Like in, in Doom Tower normal, I was actually running them the whole time just to make make the waves go faster. Uh, and also just being able to stun everybody. He's going to be amazing in Faction Wars. Uh, I mean, once you get Arbiter, Faction Wars is pretty easy. But he definitely will help out a lot in Faction Wars. So let me know what you thought about everything. Uh, are you, do you have Basilis Ronis? Do you like him? I like him. I think he's worth it. Uh, let me know what you got built on him. I definitely want to re-gear him and kind of test him out with maybe a Relentless build or just straight Savage set and just see kind of what he can nuke for. Because uh, I think he'd be really good in a really, really high, like get rid of his, his, his attack, his speed, and kind of put him with uh, this build like a ton of attack crit rate crit damage uh, and kind of see what he can do there so let me know appreciate it good luck with everything guys uh join the discord and uh we'll see you in another video soon